video. So today what I'm going to be doing is utilising the leftover potato from last night's meal. Uh, I've also got a, a few cabbage uh, leaves there and a couple of uh, stems of 10% broccoli. So what I'm going to be making today is um, some nice uh, potato and broccoli rustic mash with a little bit of cabbage thrown in. Um, and I'm going to make that with a nice um, mushroom, shallots um, and various flavours going on here for, to make a nice gravy for sausage and mash. So I've got some Cumberland sausages already grilling there. What I had, what my wife actually had to do today, she, was, she, she told me that she was very good at this when she was little, uh, peeling mushrooms because they sweated a little bit in the fridge. And uh, you know when they get a little bit like, yeah, they sweat, but we forget to take the plastic off the top of the mushroom packet. So she actually painstakingly peeled all my mushrooms in. And now they smell fresh as anything, like, as if like they're freshly picked. So that's just a little tip. I didn't even think, I've never even bothered to do it, but yeah, that was great. Another thing is I'm gonna utilize that uh, broccoli uh, stalk there. So obviously I'm gonna be putting some extra broccoli into the mash, not just these few tender stems. Okay, so let's just get straight to it. I've pre-boiled um, the kettle, so in, that, in goes that to the pan. I'm just going to boil um, the potatoes because they're not, they're not cooked. And because it's a rustic mash, I'm just going to throw them in with the skins on. That's totally fine. I'm just going to put that on the on the wok burner. No, yeah, on the wok burner just to get it like going, and then. What I'll do is I'll move it off to another burner so then I can uh, heat up the gravy on that one. So let's uh, get uh, the gravy going. So in goes a bit of a rape seed oil into the pan, as always. Okay, and I'm just going to chop these uh, shallots a little bit better because when you, when you peel the shallots they normally come in like two halves. Um, just going to chop them into quarters to make them cook down a little bit better. Shallots just, uh, they're a lot, I just find them a little bit sweeter than normal onions, so this is going to be, you know, a nice sort of thick, sweetish gravy, yeah? So that's what I'm looking for. Not too sweet, obviously, I'm not putting honey or sugar in it or anything like that, but it's going to have a lot of flavours going in. I've got marmite. I've got uh, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Uh, I'm going to put my staple balsamic vinegar in there. I like that one. Um, tiny bit of cram spiced cranberry sauce. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of mustard in there because uh, that goes well with um, pork. Uh, some rosemary as well. I just thought that would be nice. So the rosemary will go in there. I'm not going to put a whole garlic clove in there, just crushing that garlic, yeah? Just chop the end off. Crush that on the back of your knife. Okay? Just a little roughly chop and just put that in there. It's not really, it's just to add flavour, not to eat that really. Okay? I mean, you can, but it will just mainly in there to add flavour. Okay, so I've got some fresh chives as well. I'll put that in the rustic mash as well once it's done. That's fine. And what I'll do once those um, potatoes are like almost done, maybe like seven minutes to spare, five to seven minutes to spare, um, I'll put the broccoli. In fact, I'm going to do that now. Put the broccoli in the bamboo steamer, like so. I obviously normally put the steam, the bamboo steamer, up directly over a pot, but because the pot's big, then I can just put it in a sieve, and it stops it from touching the water that way. Okay. That's it, and I've also got some green beans, which I wanted to use up, so that's just going to be a little side uh, of greens there on the side, so it's a nice healthy sausage and mash, you know, not really, no ketchup or anything like that. Okay, so I'm just going to put that to one side, we don't need to do that yet. I want to get um, quite a bit of colour on these uh, shallots, yeah, it's just going to add Add to the flavour and sweetness there. Caramelised onions and that bit, you know. The chicken stock as well goes in, that's very important. So I'll just cut that now. Might as well cut that now. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to put the mushrooms in, or chop them, should I say. First, mushrooms don't even need that long. Mushrooms go in, really, once there's a sauce there. Okay, so you coat the mushrooms, let the mushrooms soak up all of that nice flavour there. You don't want to like uh, fry, fry, fry the mushrooms like mad. Because they shrink quite a bit. Roughly chop them, doesn't really matter. I'm using like a whole packet, however many that was. Okay, that's getting a nice little bit on there. That's bubbling up nicely. It's okay. In goes a bit of soy sauce. the Worcestershire sauce. Balsamic vinegar. Yeah, so after that, I'm really cook that down. Cook that down. What I'm also going to put in is a little bit of uh, Marmite. So, not a lot because it's quite salty, so just a tiny little bit, okay? Yeah, just a little bit of that. It's quite strong as well, like concentrated yeast extract. So, it's fine. Okay, put a bit of rosemary in there. Okay, a little bit of the cranberry. Again, not that much. Tiny bit of the sauce. And there's the mustard. Just give the spoon a little rinse. In fact, I'll use a different spoon. Tiny bit of mustard. Like a teaspoon of like that. Okay, in goes the tamarind powder. So, I don't even want all of that, so I'm just going to use like that much. Crumble it up in your hands, even not, just that's a good way of seeing it. Yeah? Don't just throw in like a clump bit of uh, powder, don't want that much. A little bit of that, with your hands. Sausages are looking good. Just going to turn the sausages. Tiny pinch of pimento. Set. Put some dry parsley, but that will go into the mash, okay? And then add a bit of chicken stock in there. Just a little bit. And then in goes the mushrooms, okay? And this is just my own invention. I just invented this, uh, this gravy. I have no idea if anyone else is, is doing this kind of gravy, but. I like to feel that I, I made this up. <laughs> That's it. And then, as you can see, all those mushrooms are nicely coated with that nice dark sort of like glaze. That's nice. Just fry that off for a little bit, and then I'll put the, some chicken stock in, and then further reduce it down. And by the time it's all done, it will. Um, be like a nice thick sort of like uh, mushroomy onion gravy, which would be really nice. Just going to test these uh, potatoes. Still quite hard. Okay. That's all good. Now put the chicken stock in there. That's it. Maybe like. I guess that's about part. 
half a packet of chicken stock. Always try and use fresh chicken stock here if you can. If you don't, if you don't have any available, I quite like these uh, Kalo organic uh, chicken stock uh, chicken stocks. Uh, they're quite good. They do beef ones and uh, vegetable ones. Just found they're organic, like made with natural extracts. So it's not bad, you know. That's like a good alternative if you don't have fresh chicken stock. Obviously, you can make your own if you have a roast dinner. Then make make your own. Don't throw away the bones. Make your own chicken stock from the bones and stuff. Throw in a load of like um, leftover like root vegetables, like celery or carrot, whatever you've got available. And yeah, don't throw it in the food waste bin. Just throw it in with the bones. And make a stock. It's a good way of utilizing leftover food. Yeah, and then stock you can freeze that as well once it's cooled down. So once you strain it and then freeze and then. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to leave that basically, give it a little crack of pepper. Bring out the flavour a bit. That's it. And that will just reduce all the way down to being like a nice sort of thick gravy for the sausage and mash. Okay, so how, how's this doing? That's all good. So that's almost there. I'm going to put that lot on, turn that down a little bit, steam those vegetables, wait for the sausages to be done, wait for that salt, that gravy to be reduced, and I'll show you a picture once it's plated up.